Uh, first and foremost, wanted to thank Jello for, um, I guess, uh, providing some beverage for the tr uh, stream here. We've got, it's kind of difficult to see here with my light and everything, a um, Tropical Milkshake IPA from BrewDog. And uh, we'll give it a shot and figure something solid. That's an interesting taste. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> definitely not one that, like, I drink all day, but that's kind of IPAs for me. I kind of like an IPA every now and then just to, like, you know, something that is a little more bitter, a little little stronger tasting. But uh, really solid. And again, Jello, thank you so much. Uh, that's been delicious. I um, I did crack open one of them for a raid yesterday. Uh, one of the hard seltzers. Which, yeah, I really haven't had hard seltzers before, but uh, they're solid. So, let's get the mouse pointer out of the way, and let's potentially finish up Amori. i to turn this light down a little bit. That's not turned down. Well. All right. Um, first of all, that's different. Uh, yeah. Level one. Oh, I guess I am still level one from, right, in the real world. All right. Mom's bed. Now to kind of remember what we were doing. Um, we checked the bathroom, I think, already. I know, like, when I exited off, uh, I was kind of tired. Oops. We brushed our teeth today. All right. I think we were just headed out, weren't we? And, hey, Jello, thank you so much for the uh, resubscription there. How are the drinks? Drinks are fantastic so far. So I've got the... Um, Tropical Milkshake IPA. Definitely something a little bit stranger in terms of what I've normally had, but uh, delicious. And that was uh, Brew Dog. It's a really unique taste, which I, I kind of like in beers. Um, something that's just not typical. What the hell was I doing? We went to the treehouse. I don't actually... Were we going to see Basil? I kind of forget what I was doing, to be honest with you. We exited off at, like, midnight. We went to see the treehouse. We have Kel's house there. Kel and Hiro. Uh, let's check out Basil. Oh. Um, ma'am? Ma- Oh, not ma'am. This is the point of no return. Yeah, I, I'm way too old to, like, bad memory. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh, no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone. But, I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course! We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. So this is our, our point of no return. Alright, well... Yeah, there's our save point of no return. We'll just put that right on file four. I mean, I'm wondering if I need, like, health items or anything. Because we got none of that. Um. Eh, they probably don't need health items, right? We'll be fine. And we can always reload. Basil's been by himself, yeah. 
I kind of wanted to see the bathroom. Just to see if... Alright, hero. Work your magic. Hi, Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sonny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just want to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we could sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. Uh-oh. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Uh, this is all happening so fast. Okay, then, uh, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. Uh, I'll go grab them now. What about Grandma's room? Or the bathtub? Oh, God. In uh, middle school, I was part of a group, uh, and a high school, called uh, TSA, Technology Student Associations. Major nerds. And, um... Like, for the state competition, uh, we got to go to this really nice resort. But it was still, like, four kids to a room. And, like, you're not going to go two guys in a bed together. That's, like, really lame. So uh, I, I slept in the bathtub the one night. Cause we, were, we were in, like, what, seventh grade, sixth grade, something like that. So, I mean, it would have been super dorky. Otherwise, So, like, I'll just sleep in the tub. <laughs> Why did you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. That's a good point. Ow! That hurt! Uh... Alright, it's like... Evil spirit... No evil spirit! I was really... I really thought there'd be evil here. Oh, the flower. Oh, Basil. Why can't you see that everyone is here for you? Yeah, that might have been the ghost of Grandma. Alright, folks. Let's hang out with our friends. It's a little bit weird hanging out at someone else's house like this, but, you know. Eating their food, chilling out. I can't actually really do anything right here. So I think this is just forced hangout. I think we're waiting for something to happen. Hey, Sonny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting. But I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Okay, hero. Okay. Oh, Aubrey got the couch! <laughs> Ugh. That's so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Heh <laughs> heh. Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say?! Haha. <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. Ah. <sighs> I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right! Look who's the softy now! <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mary's still here with us, too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. And I'm getting sleepy. And is he out? 
Punk. What the? Is he asleep already? Comatose. They had, didn't they had the cookies? Cookies were enough. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Heh. <laughs> sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come, too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. I don't know. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep. Yeah, I knew that feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there's enough room for two on the couch. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. Replacing Sonny already. <laughs> Kind of cool, the background, like, TV audio. Just little, like, sound details that... Ah, shit. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please. I'm in white space. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm there in white space. Empty sketchbook. That's interesting. That's just a tissue box. Before I believe it said, like, for wiping away your sorrows. waiting for something to happen. Light bulb hangs on the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? I mean... I think I have to, though, right? You know, the game keeps saying, like, waiting for something to happen, and it, it's made me think, like, if I just sat and did nothing for, like, extended amount of time, would something happen? But, yeah, I mean... I guess I destroy the uh, light bulb. Um...
Yeah, just calm down. The black room, black space? Something drags Sunny into the shadows. I think we just keep, like, keep trying to calm down. I don't think you can fight it. Something taunts Sonny as he falls. Just calm down, Sonny. Calm down. Maybe you have to fight it then? Like, I don't think attacking it's gonna do anything. It did less damage. So maybe that's it. Maybe we are starting to overcome our fears. Oh. We can focus now too, but let's calm down. Let's try and focus. Now, like, our attack might do something that we're powered up? Let's see. Alright, still doing nothing. So, we're just gonna keep coming down. Hey, ponies. How did uh, E10S go? Oh, still Kelvin? And then Persist was what we had to do when we were drowning last time. Just calm down, Sonny. Is that Mary? Something sways in the wind. Focus? Yeah, you feel like your life is in danger. Uh, persist? <laughs> your lungs tighten up. Persist. Ah. <sighs> your heart beats out of your chest. We're, we're just going to relax. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Just persist. You hear your breathing begin to steady. And yeah, now we'll calm down a little. You hear your heart beginning to steady. Same thing, man. Just calm it down. <sighs> you gather all of your courage and learn to overcome.
You got a light bulb. I think we won. Sonny uh, learned to face his fears and overcome kind of the trauma of the past. That must be the picture where she, um, where Mary had uh, hung herself. Harley Gates type of thing? I'd imagine that's the reference. Or at least just Gates to a cemetery. Oh, that went super fast. I don't... I think I only hit the button once, but... Basil's Meadow. Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. There's still hope for us because you're here? I believed in you and you came back for me, so please, believe in me too. I think I should have looked at the photo album. Can I? The door is locked. I can't actually open up the photo album. Oh, hello! daughter is gone and you you're my only son I can't lose you as well I'm still not getting it feels slightly drawn to it You can't go towards that um, red door. It looks like there's hole, like a hole type thing. person is breathing steadily. Definitely strange. I mean, obviously we're building, like, the last moments of Mary, I would think. See, five kids having a picnic. Alright, so Mary is gone. Right? That's just gotta be the four of us and Basil, Aubrey Hero, Kel. Hello. person is not breathing. Are these TVs anything different? 
besides just five kids? Three kids. Oh. Four kids talking to a giant statue. Playing in the forest. Four kids riding a minecart. Climbing a ladder to... Is it... Okay. Four kids riding an elevator. Four kids talking to a whale. I mean, I see that it's five o'clock. I doubt it's relevant. I mean, the piano, I'm assuming, we're, it's supposed to, like, make you think of, Mary. Hello, what's on the... Why is your ear bloody? We didn't put that one away. He pushed her down the... Did Amori push her down the stairs and then stage a murder? This person is not breathing. And Basil, like, helped him cover it up? Sunny, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Today's the day of the recital. I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting. It almost looked like Sunny pushed her down the stairs and... Oh! Jesus fucking God. <laughs> Do I feel like I'm missing a photo. Oh, there's the photo. There. Did he... <laughs> the f... What the fuck? Did she attack him?
What the fuck? I can't go into a menu. Do you want to screw in the light bulb? Um, I mean, this is going to expose everything. Right? This will shine a light on what happened. Yeah. He pushed her down the stairs. I mean, this should be at the beginning, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, I think we see what happened here. And because Basil knew... Oh, God. I mean, it may have just been an argument. They got into a fight. I mean, the question kind of is, was did he intend to kill her? You know, I mean, obviously covered it up because, you know, I, I'd assume, you know, I mean, uh, who did you kill? I, I think Amari killed Mari, or Sonny killed Amari. Killed Amari, killed Mari by pushing her down the stairs. Um, she died when she fell down the stairs. He then realized he'd be in trouble for it all. So, like, tied a noose out of a jump rope. Um, Mary killed Amori. No, uh, Sonny killed Mary. And then so he wouldn't get in trouble, tied a noose and made it look like it was a suicide. And Basil saw it all. And so because Basil saw it all, that's the guilt that Basil has been living with. I don't know if Basil helped or not. I'm, I don't think he did. I think he just saw it. But... He's
And a part of it is why in his headspace, I think, in that dream world, that even though they're on a mission to rescue Basil, he doesn't really want to because Basil is the only one who knows the truth about what happened. Basil's the only one that knows that Sonny actually killed Mari. That's also, I believe, why if you remember on one of the first days, um, like Basil was, after dinner, like got ill, got sickly ill. A more, uh, Sonny went to check on him and like Basil had a full on panic attack in the bathroom there and like Sonny just kind of leaves and's like fuck it that's why So, Mari threw Sonny's violin down the stairs for some reason. We don't know why. That got Sonny angry, so Sonny pushed her down the stairs. Or as uh, Mari broke his violin, right? Sonny got angry and pushed her down the stairs. That killed her. Sonny realizing, oh shit, I just killed my sister staged a suicide. And is it that, that I, that, yep. They do a great job with the sound here. Hero has always been someone you could rely on. He is wise, capable, loving, and always puts others above himself. He's the kind of person that will always make himself available to help you, even to a fault. You'll really miss him. Cal has always been there for you. And even though he's a bit careless at times, you know he has a good heart. More than anything, he just wants everyone around him to be happy. He's always been someone you could count on to lift your spirits. You'll really miss him. Aubrey has always acted true to her feelings. Even though she has trouble admitting how much she cares, her actions have shown otherwise. She has been a little hard to understand, but you can trust that she will always try her best to do the right thing. You'll really miss her. So that's the thing that haunts him in what it symbolizes is kind of her her eye, I think, just peering out through her hair. And it stays. That's interesting. Right? Anytime we've looked at this before, it goes away after a second look. This is also, yeah, why Mari in Dreamworld, 
appears helpful and everything because it's his it's his happy place so to speak she loves him nothing bad ever happened or anything like that in the real world she haunts the hell out of him and that's why like in the very 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 beginning of the game when like you first see a knock at the door and it's like ghostly fucked up scary mary Do you want to save Basil? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of guilt that Basil's been holding on to. It's, it's our fault. We've like traumatized this kid. Ah, uh, Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's... it's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mary died. When Mary... when Mary fell, you... you couldn't have done it. There was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Ah, uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No. Oh, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mary, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny, you wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something's behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything. Is going to be okay. I mean, I think just calming down is... You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. I mean, we're not going to run. It's just focus. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Basil reaches inside Sonny. Ah, it came too fast. You want to run. I mean, we're not, we're not going to run. Sonny. There's no way out of this, is there? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. Basil reaches inside Sonny. You want to run. I mean, I don't, like, I've got nothing else to do but attack Basil. 
I can't use any skills, and I don't want to run away. I, I don't know what to do. Like, can I do nothing? Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? You want to run. Sonny, do you hate me? Sunny attack Basil. Basil attacks Sunny. I mean, I want to check for a skill every time, but... Please, stop it. I... I mean, yeah, I don't want to run. Stop struggling, Sunny. I'm... I'm so tired. Everything is going to be okay in the little EKG monitor. Wow. Like, I, I have no idea what they're doing. It... I can't tell if I'm doing the right thing or not, and it's driving me insane. I feel like running is the bad thing to do here, but I feel like I'm also killing Basil. I mean... I mean, this'll kill him, right? And the game is setting that up. So are you actually killing him? Are you, are, are you two actually fighting each other right now? I may have made the wrong choice there, I'm not sure. Why? Why won't you stop? I think I made the wrong choice. Interesting. I mean... I don't understand.
That I understand. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost. But it's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. We have like a dream on top of dream. <laughs> you well, redemption arc. Hi, hey, Sunny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on, but that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories, it's proof of our friendship. Hold these pictures close. And remember what you want to protect. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry. Looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Aww. Sunny. Let's make some new memories together, okay? I mean, I'm gonna follow. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost, but it's not too late for redemption, fortunately. You still know the way back home. Oh! Like... I thought going back home would mean that, like, you've, you're not acknowledging what happened. You're going to isolate yourself back home and, like, Kel and Hero aren't home right now. Right. Don't forget. Yeah, no one home. I mean... Don't forget, you're here forever. Oh! Don't forget it's in the toy box. I did forget that. I mean, I still...
sunny. It's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Good kitty. <laughs> Dude, I... Oh. That door is there now. You also don't have the option to stab yourself. So what's in here that is this the proof Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. Did I misinterpret the album? You get sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it still can be read. It seemed like Murray broke his violin, so he pushed her and, like, didn't mean to kill her. That's what I got from it. I mean, I always got to check bathrooms, right? <laughs> we'll go out the front door. Maybe we won't go out the front door? Yes, I got just what I needed! Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Why did you get behind me, Mary? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Oh, dude. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. That's, yeah, when he had the really good hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. D don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, Sonny. <laughs> oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. That's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Oh, God. You look at Hero's hand. It's a king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? You look at Aubrey's hand. A two, a five, and a ten. What do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. A 
Jack and Anise. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? Ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Not sure I understand. You got Mary's cookie. It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. Alright. Alright, so we just get more cookies. So, am I just leaving? Oh! Yeah, I mean, I guess we're, we're leaving. Because you can't cling on to the memories of the past forever. Remember the smell of freshly baked cookies? It smelled better knowing that Mary made it from scratch. The violin meant it a part of itself. Dude, Carney, you told me I had like 45, 30 minutes left of this game? Literally an hour ago? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you have to do all the voices and shit. Ah. <laughs> and there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mary. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, I mean, we're reliving the photo albums. Don't take a picture of me while I'm eating basil. Sorry, Aubrey, I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Yeah, I mean, this is your chance to, like... Wait? Oh. Kill spinning seeds. How about this, then? Stop it, Aubrey, you're gonna give me cooties! <laughs> Very cute. Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Let them play here. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? Whoops. Am I in trouble now, hero? Oh, no. Oh, dude. This is terrible. You enjoying yourself? I know you don't really enjoy the heat, so thanks for coming out with us. Like, dude, this is, <sighs> I mean, we'll save, dude. Memory lane. Yeah. Like, dude, the guilt. God. I, I couldn't imagine. Right? I, I, like, couldn't imagine. You, like, broke up these amazing friendships. Oh, dude. Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just the three of us now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. Glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world-famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Oh, God. Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. Glad you're using your camera uh, more now, Basil. 
You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? Wow, that was... Oh, dude. Like... Moving on to a hard seltzer, grapefruit and blood orange. Hmm, that's not bad. Have I tried White Claw? I have not. A half eaten watermelon. The other half's in everyone's stomachs. A bunch of toys are scattered in the grass. Snore, snore, snore. <laughs> Hey, Sonny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mary always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. You think I should become a chef? Uh, yeah, dude. Follow your dreams. Haha, <laughs> maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Yeah. My mom's going to have something to say about that. Oh, dude. I, like, can't keep going on with this. This is... Aubrey hardly makes any noise when she's sleeping. So cute. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, Sonny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Dude. This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Yeah, and cover it with tape later. I didn't even... Can I see it again? Can, can we see Hector pooping? Oh, not really. <laughs> Have a good night, Jello, and uh, thanks very much again for the beverages. Fork, fork! Dude, this is just... <sighs> Mary would always keep you safe. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. <laughs> okay, one sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color, pink. Oh, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? Oh, man. Dude. Come on. You don't know what color I chose? Wait. Are you saying you're going to tie your hair pink? That's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so, too. Oh, dude, this game's fucking draining. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on p well, you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? Yeah, sure. Sonny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Huh, <laughs> whatever. <sighs> dude. You said you and Basil were playing the new Pet Rocks game? Hmm, maybe I should get into it. Hey, I know, why don't we go to the hobbies to check out if they have any new stuff? 
What is it, Sunny? Do you want to see the photo? I I don't. I really don't. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? Feel your ears turning red. <laughs> so, dude. Yeah, yeah, that settles it. One day I'm going to dye my hair pink, but maybe not anytime soon. My dad's kind of strict about these things. You going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Sure you want to go? Yeah. You remembered. The sound of falling rain as it hits your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin meant it a part of itself. Memory Lane fucking sucks, man. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sonny? Sonny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> this case lo cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Hey, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Is that how it works? Well, in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Y you can't do that! <laughs> hmm. A wish? Ah, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, we don't hurry. The candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Do you want to start us off, Mary? Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, a two, a three, a four. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. You remember it. Basil smiles. He was about to blow out his birthday candles. The, uh, the knife? Uh, you know. <laughs> but you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. I mean, it's it's kind of exhausting. <laughs> God damn! Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Cal. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh huh. You bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all. Oh no. You know exactly what it is. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's the violin. Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mary told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. There was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, 
this was Basil's idea. We all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. I don't think we've heard any violin music in the um, in the game at all. Now that I'm trying to think through, like piano has been featured and all kinds, of, but I don't think we've ever heard violin. As if on its own. Your body readied the violin to play. You remembered. The anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. I mean, I assume these are all old memories that... Yeah. Sonny, you're finally here! Oh. At this point, it's gonna be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends. I always assumed uh, you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sonny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has re been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sonny, break a leg for me, alright? Whatever you end up choosing, we'll always uh, want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny. Promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Um, don't overwrite Basil's. All right, so we'll we'll just go up here at Memory Lane. We believe in you, Sonny. I mean, you would get behind to perform, wouldn't you? I guess we're performing here. The 
stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Yeah. Oh, your view is from backstage. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Sunny too. I don't know if I'm supposed to fight Amari. <laughs> you remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Or he's got a knife. Yeah, but... Oh, I can't use it again! Well... Fuck that, then. Amori did not succumb. Let's calm down. We gotta get some health back now, man. Erase is the enemy. Let's cherish. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace, or, you know, some happiness. Oh, yeah! Now we'll Allegro. Oh. Oh. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing, and you've earned nothing in return. We encore? 
We probably should have started with that. Allegro! Oh! Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you like you did to them. And that's what you deserve. Amori did not succumb. We should, um... We should cherish those memories. You remembered Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. Allegro! Yeah, the hands are... When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. People like you don't deserve to live. Amori did not succumb. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Oh, that hurt. Oh, we're going to need to heal that. Uh, you're nothing but a liar, and when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Let's let's calm down, buddy. Let's get some get some HP back. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, you'll be hopeless, and all you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Let's keep uh, just keep coming down. Get get the get the hit points up a little bit more and God it Like it's hard to It's hard to get an edge. I mean, I don't know if I've got it in me to Yeah, I mean, every time I... Every time I try to heal, it does that erase, so... I mean, we... We've got to calm down. All right. Now I think we can if we can if we can just kind of get ahead of it right now. Okay. God, I I don't... 
Oh, that might kill him. Oh no, Amori slashed wild. Oh shit. Don't succumb. I think I fucked. Oh shit. I thought I would get the turn first. Uh, yes. Heck. Oh, I gotta go through this again. Sorry, guys. I mean, ironically enough, it was, uh, I don't know whether that was RNG that just really screwed me. I think I used the Cherish too quickly. And I got, like, those stat downs are just lethal. We'll see if we can get back faster. It, it should be much faster if I'm not reading stuff. Although... Does this kill me? No. Okay. Wait for him to use the shitty attack then. Yeah, I... It seemed like any time I healed, um, he used, like, a major attack. So... I wasn't sure, like, if I was supposed to die. You know, like, go to one hit point and, like... Because the whole thing was, you know, Amori did not succumb. I thought, like, Sunny did not succumb. And, like, you were supposed to die. I don't think that was a crazy thought. Your friends will never forgive you. Right, I mean, I you could have absolutely seen, like, if you die there, Sunny did not succumb. I, I don't think that's a, uh, unrealistic. We'll go to with a Cherish here. Allegro! Ow! Yeah, I mean, now it's not a bad time to Allegro. That's all right. That's all right. Because we're going to get a Cherish right here. Oh, nice. Let's Cherish. You remember Basil's Hope? Perfect. I, this might very well kill him. There we go. It did not succumb? Fucking succumb! Dude! Just, just succumb! You killed Mary. She loved you and you killed her. 
just calm down. Calm down, buddy. Everything's alright. Everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Hero loved her and you killed her. Yeah, I I considered that. The the freaking audio engineering in this was fantastic. It really Aubrey loved her and you killed her. I did indeed. Kel loved her and you killed her. Uh, you're not wrong. You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? Basil loved her. And you killed her. <laughs> you loved her. And you killed her. Oh, I can't use a skill when I'm freaking out. Oh! You loved her and you killed her. I, I did! All right, well. I mean. Amori will not succumb, my God! Dude! That might be the death of me. You should just die. Dude, how the fuck do you beat that? I missed something. Oh, you weren't supposed to. Maybe? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go! Back in the fight! I'm gonna play music at him. We're gonna have like a DDR thing going on here then? Maybe not.
Yeah, the violin faltering. Yeah, I did hear. It, uh... Yeah, yeah, God damn. Oh, the fight with Basil. Nothing but static. I always gotta look in the mirror, right? Bread? Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. door is locked. This door is also locked. Oh boy. I mean, I imagine going towards our friends and... Although, is that... Like... I don't... Fuck, I, I don't know what this is interpreted as. Is this going after our friends and telling them what happened? Or is this, like, facing our demons? Right? Is this facing our demons? They're the kid versions, though. Yeah, I mean, but... Well, that's Basil. We should probably talk to him. We should probably talk to Basil. Yeah, it feels like everything in this game you have to overthink so much that it's really easy to... <laughs> but to be fair, I kind of like overthinking stuff. I'm very guilty of it in my day-to-day -day life. I fucking overthink everything to the point. I have to tell you something. Oh, dude. Is this where we end? And like we don't we don't know. Dude, this is... Oh, God. I feel so fucking drained. Holy shit. 
What a game! Oh my god! I mean, easily, easily one of the top games I've played. Um, just an incredible story. An absolutely incredible story. Like, one thing I, I really, really enjoy is allowing myself to get immersed in a game and allowing myself to, like, try and put my myself in the shoes of the developer. And not, not in the way that, like, what they're doing, but, you know, they had a story, they had something they wanted to communicate. They had, like, this this story, this message, this expression they wanted to communicate, and so you take it seriously. You you allow yourself to kind of fall into the realm. Obviously, none of these are real people. None of these are real people. And, like, why get emotionally invested into stories that aren't real? Because it's fun to do, you know? it. I mean, once that kind of comes out about what happens, the game did such a good job of slowly pulling back the curtain, right? They just... Special thanks to you. Aw, special thanks to you too. A little pinwheel on the tree. God. I mean, I can't imagine how haunting that would be. Right? And like, Oh, dude, I'm I'm just so. I I can't imagine the feeling. Um, uh, some of you may know. Um, I had a my childhood friend growing up. Um, was, you know, I, like we had a lot of amazing memories. Um, you know, the coming over, building Legos. Um, you know going in the pool, like, we did so much together, playing video games, um, you know, just my absolute best friend growing up. Um, got to high school, and we kind of, like, he moved away, so we kind of went our, our separate paths, and, um, <laughs> you know, we still kind of met up time to time, you know, still called each other time to time, talked to each other. Like, life went in different directions, but we still, like, really stayed in close contact with each other. And, you know, as we got older, like, he would just randomly show up at our house. Um, not really invited, not really anything, just kind of randomly show up. And, like, my mom's face lit up because, like, Chris was over and she got to feed him. And, like, Chris was a big eater. He was a skinny guy. He was, a, like, a, a farm kid. Um, type, you know, where just like, um, you know, he wasn't like a big husky guy or anything. Uh, probably kind of a similar frame to myself, but like that kid could eat so much. And my mom loved it because I didn't really eat a lot. I just wasn't a big eater, but like Chris did and, and loved it, you know. Um, and, you know, life kind of went in separate directions more. Uh, he went into the military. I went to college. Um, and again, though, like, he would come back and like would still just stop in you know i remember um there was one time like i was just up playing half-life 2 because it came out and you know he came over just to stop over for a little while and like i'm college age i think you know i think i was a freshman or something like that uh i commuted and um you know, like, he was stopping over for a little while just to say hi, and it, like, we got to relive being kids for a little bit. Like, you know, uh, I gave him the, the chair in the game, uh, you know, he got to sit and play, and I watched, and like, oh, do that, do that, do, you know, and, and like, you've kind of felt like you were kids again. Uh, time went on, and I guess where this long roundabout story is going is, uh, unfortunately, um, Chris did take his own life, and, uh, it's one of those things that's kind of, it, it's haunted me for a really long time. You know, was there something else I could have done? Was there something more that, you know, what could I have done differently? What, you know, and so, like, I, I don't know 
how I would even process that, like, if if he was killed, even accidentally or something. I, I, I don't even know how my brain could process it. Uh, I mean, at this point, we're, God, 10 years later, I think. I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, I, I, I don't even know how much time has passed. Um, but, you know, that's kind of always... It's it's always kind of stuck with me. Um, you know, at this point, I've I've accepted it. You know, I, I don't hold on to any type of guilt that, like, what could I have done differently or anything like that. But, yeah, it, it's... God, I, I couldn't imagine how I'd even react. But, anyway... Oh, shit, my Steam controller went off. Uh, let's see... Oh, there we go. So... Yeah, I mean, I knew kind of coming into the story that, you know, there was themes of depression, anxiety, suicide, but... Whew. Yeah, I mean, this game definitely took a lot out of me. Um... Oh, yeah, uh, the first time Sonny speaks the entire game. Uh, yeah, I have to tell you something. It's interesting. I didn't get the secret special cutscene at the end. Oh, no. Oh. Whew. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't recommend it enough. YouTube? I can do that. Dude, I never figured out how to exit this game. Literally. I, I could never figure out how to exit this game. Is it under options? Oh, it is! I could never figure out how the hell to get out of this game. I always just task managered it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know. <laughs> did I get the jump scare? I did get the jump scare menu. I did. Um, so what do we got here? We have what? Amori. Uh, secret ending This is a Mori true ending Very cute. Waiting for a jump scare here. God damn, man. Oh, let's see, uh... Amori bad ending. Oh, they named him Max. I was confused, like, what the fuck was Max? Oh! About a one-hour listening session of It Means Everything? Not sure what that means. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so... Theoretically, this would be new. Welcome 
into white space. You've been living here for s as long as you can remember. I'm not sure I got the snake. I don't know what that was a reference to. Oh god. Does he just... It's a long way down. Oh god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What ending did you get, Carney? Did you run from Basil? You said you made a stupid decision. Dude. Ah. <laughs> uh. Dude, I... Yeah, I mean, ultimately, guys, this was an unbelievably fantastic game. Um, this is definitely one of those games that I want to go back and play again. Um, and I think it's one of those games when you know the story, how much more everything else will make sense. Um because all through it, there's bits of symbolism. There's This is one of those games that what I really love is you can't overthink it. You can't go too deep with the interpretation. Um, it, it was just incredible. Um, and I think that's so hard to pull off in media. I think that's so hard to pull off in you know, any type of day and age, especially like when people are used to like twist endings and shit like that. Um, pulling off a twist ending and then making it a game where you want to look into the symbolism. Oh, wait, no, this video. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at this one.
this is what you did, Carney? You just went to sleep? Please, Sonny, you shouldn't be seeing this. You're supposed to be moving out today on your way to a fresh new start. We'll take care of everything here. Oh, God, he killed himself. He'll be okay. Didn't he? Oh, boy. Dude. Yeah, this game is... It's an amazingly well done game. For the graphics that they use, the, the audio is just so freaking good. Oh god. Yeah, RPG Maker. I mean... I'm, I'm blown away. I can't believe this game hasn't made more... Yeah, the hair? There's so many little things like that all throughout this game. They did such an incredible job of weaving all of that stuff in. I think we saw a white space and... Is this the day of the move? Hey Sonny, it's Mommy, I'm waiting for you outside, so just come out when you're ready. Who was the... Oh, just movers. So, yeah, it, it just haunts you and it stays with you. Right. It, it just stays with you no matter what. That's such cool... Oh... And then them going for Basil. Oh, jeez, man. It's a it's an incredible game. Um, I can't recommend it enough to folks. And yeah, I think if you like, Carney and Ponies both, uh, excuse me, recommended it to me. You know, with that idea, you're you're going into something heavy. You're not going into a fun little kids game. You're not going into like something. You're you're going into something pretty heavy. So that definitely helped me to like. All right. So I'm. It obviously looks like a little kids game. So if they're telling me it's it's not, I know to be looking for stuff outside of that. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have enough good things to say about it. This may be one of my favorite games um, ever. Just because of how, how amazing it told a story. Uh, that I, I still love the phrase that I heard for it was emotional whiplash. And emotional whiplash is definitely the best way to describe this game. You know, they do such a great job. Um, as I said, the audio is just amazing in it. The audio they do, they do such a great job. Really, really do. Um, it does a great job of crafting these atmospheres of, like, you shouldn't be here, but you have to keep pressing forward. I think after I left the room with the cat in black space, yeah. Yeah, that Miwo looks up at you, Miwo can't, yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, I, I think it's my favorite part about video games, right? It, it is that, that storytelling that you can, you know, if you let yourself get fully immersed. Oh, did you find it? Is that it, Carney? I still can't believe I, I This was the Carney ending. This wasn't the same ending? Skip a bit. All right. Well, we're back home. More than that. Skip the two minutes. It's the same ending. Okay, you go to the kitchen, pick up a knife before you go to bed. Oh! And the only way to leave white space, right? God damn. What comes after Amori? Um, that we're gonna see, and they just bring the the phone. God damn, Carney, this is. I can imagine why you were traumatized.
So, uh, <laughs> I bet. Um, next up, we'll uh, we'll probably talk in the Discord, and um, you know, we'll kind of figure it out. I've got some ideas of what I'm thinking of, but yeah, we'll we'll figure something out to play. Um, it's about nine forty-five for me, and I think I think tonight I'm gonna try and get an early uh, early sleep. But um. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this Amori adventure. Uh, it really was an unbelievable game. Um, I am just, I'm blown away by it. It, you know, uh, I don't know what to say about it. Um, it. It was just so incredibly good. I I think I need, I need a little more time to think about it. And as more little synapses light up of this meant this, this meant that, it was it was really a wonderful game though. And um, Carney and Ponies, thank you guys both so much for recommending it to me. Uh, I can imagine like a game like this is almost difficult to recommend because if the person doesn't like it and they're like, the fuck is this? This is stupid as shit. Like you you'd almost take offense to it, right? Like. I, I could imagine that of like recommending it to someone and they're like, dude, this is this is just fucked up and stupid. If a person doesn't allow themselves to get immersed into the storyline, I think it's really easy to say like this is kind of just a stupid game. But if you allow yourself to really fall into it and like experience the story that the developers want you to experience, it it's a really just memorable game. Um, so yeah, folks, thank you guys all so, so very much for watching, and, uh, we'll definitely get something a little more lighthearted, um, for the next game, something a little more, uh, you know, easy and, um, uplifting, so to speak, but, yeah, I mean, I think games like this are important, right, I think games like this really have a lot to kind of... I, I love use. I love when games use symbolism. I love when games use metaphor, and that's just it. It's saturated in it. <laughs> so, as always, folks, thank you guys also very very much for watching, and uh, tune into the next. Thank you for watching, everyone, and cheers.